Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. How are you Libra? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I do want to let you guys know for those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to contact us as we are now booking for March and April. Uh, just letting you guys know as we do uh, book rather quickly. All right, Libras, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of February 2021. Let's see. <clears throat> In regards to love and romance, Spirits, what are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? In regards to love and romance, what's going on with Libras? How are you, Libra? I hope you guys are doing good. Let's see. Okay. We start off here, Libra, with the Three of Pentacles. Okay. You may be dealing with a person that is around your friends, around family, or people that are um, around this individual. I feel very highly for some of you guys. You may be dealing with the person that is either around your family member, friends, your inner circle. Uh, for others of you, it could be an individual that is in your workplace. Second card here is the King of Pentacles, maybe dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So you're definitely, you have your attention or focus towards someone that is very strong, Libra. I'm actually quite surprised here. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with Libras. I feel that this person is coming off as very, they're, they're very strong in their personality. They carry very strong energy. Um, this is kind of like the independent type of energy, the entrepreneur type of energy that I'm sensing. They're very goal oriented. They're very focused either on their business or the career path that they're on. I feel that for some of you guys, um, this connection could have came from, again, like I said, like there, this person was either introduced to you or is around the people that you surround yourself with. Um, but I do see that there is almost like a feeling of wanting to get to know them, but there's some type of fear here. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, <clears throat> very strong masculine energy. I feel like for some of you guys, even if it's a female, uh, I do sense very masculine energy. So it could be that they're very straightforward. They're very blunt. Um, there may be some type of like fear of either coming towards them or being blunt in the sense of the interest that you have for them. With the Eight of Pentacles, though, I do feel like for some of you guys, you definitely want to put in the work. You definitely want to connect with this person. I keep saying wanting. I'm almost sensing like for some of you guys, you're, you've been dealing with this type of energy for quite a while. While for others, it could be almost like a situation where you've been aware of this individual or you are around this individual. But I feel that it hasn't take flight yet. Like it hasn't elevated. It hasn't. Like there hasn't been a moment of one-on-one -on -one type of energy. So I feel like this is very brand new type of energy. All right, let's see how this person is viewing you. Let's see what's going on with them. How they're viewing this connection. Okay. So they have the Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords could represent feeling stuck could also represent feeling like things haven't hasn't moved forward. They haven't progressed the way they would have wanted. Um, it could also represent feeling like there's lack of movement. Oh, okay, we got cards flying out. We got the five of swords here. There's pride, very prideful type of energy here. I feel that there's other people involved, Libra. What's going on? Five of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel that, I feel that this connection, I feel that this was a very strong connection. I feel that the, this person that you were dealing with or are dealing with, um, definitely is into you Libra, but I feel that 
with the eight of swords there was like there was movement that was unfolding there w might have been some lies or people around you both telling you different stories um because from the eight of swords prior to that we have the seven of swords so there is lies uh someone you know sticking the spoon in where they shouldn't have that type of energy and it created this stagnant energy here this this lack of movement with the five of swords um it could have been some information that came to them or it could have been like a uh, something, some type of situation where you guys can see eye to eye or can agree on something. But I feel very heavily because there's people in the background in this card. I feel that other people um, had a lot to do with this connection and influence where you guys are at right now. With the five of pentacles, they're seeing like, uh, they're feeling like there was some type of rejection or they feel like there was some type of miscommunication that happened where they got to the point of feeling like this is stagnant energy libra is not really putting in the effort or perhaps it's true the information that's coming through what people are telling me type of energy so i'm just going to leave it at what it is and cut my losses with the five of pentacles here okay now like i said i i see a lot of people in all the imagery here and i feel that a lot of people are either around the situation or around you or around the person of your interest that influenced very highly what's unfolding okay now the energy that you need to take on for the remaining of february libra is the king of cups and the king of cups is a being emotionally available this is kind of like speaking your truth this is about listening to your intuition and following your gut I feel that for some of you guys, if this connection really didn't really take flight and you're you were left wondering if this person was interested or not, they're definitely interested. This is why we have the five of swords here and the five of pentacles. So pride got in the way because they felt rejected or they felt like you weren't interested. So they cut their losses and walked away um, with the king of cups, the energy that you need to take on moving forward. You need to be straightforward or communicate your interest or your emotions towards this person. That's what they're telling you here. That's what they're encouraging you to do. The King of Cups is an emotional energy, but this is a mature type of energy. This is, again, listening to your intuition, paying attention to your gut feeling. Um, I feel that there could have been some doubt here if this person was interested in you or not. Um, or if they were being authentic or they were being real. Um, and I feel that you didn't get to that point or you haven't got to that point because people started getting involved. So with the King of Cups, what they're telling you here is that you need to listen to your intuition. And if this person is constantly on your mind or you're constantly left feeling like things were left undone or unsaid, um, you have to take action. You can't just allow them to be the ones to come in because I feel that if you look at the, these are your cards and this is how you're viewing them. This is how you're viewing the situation. So there's hopefulness in you. There's a desire to manifest this connection, but on their side, there is a lot of doubt. There is a lot of wondering. This is, you know, the mind swords is always the mind. And it's like people bringing these little bits and pieces of information that is almost like clarifying the fact that they that you weren't interested in them or that you walked away because you had other options, that type of energy. But with the King of Cups here, I feel that you're definitely invested in this connection. See what I'm saying? Now, the energy that they need to take on here is the Prince um, of Swords. So I feel that for the remaining of the month, they are not hesitating about cutting people out of their life, people that they find toxic or people that they feel um, are just wasting their time. And I feel that that could be the reason why they went from the five of swords feeling a bit rejected, feeling a bit um, like you kind of hurt their pride to the five of pentacles i'm done cutting my losses and walking away from this i'm not wasting time and it's not so much that they're wasting time on you libra it's that other people are making it seem that way 
with the Prince of Swords, it could be that they've been watching your social medias. It could be that they are watching um, or wanting to know exactly what what happened behind the scenes or what led to you no longer communicating. Because I feel like this could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. So if you're not the one that blocked them, it could be that they were the ones that blocked you. But I definitely see someone looking at them or trying to find out what's going on. So I do see them... If given the opportunity, you can see here, if given the opportunity and being completely honest and transparent or speaking your truth or having that one-on-one -on -one conversation that needed to happen a long time ago instead of other people getting involved, they will definitely rush in. They will definitely give you the opportunity um, to rekindle this connection or to revisit this connection and see where it leads. So ultimately, Libra... Um, the ball is in your court is what they're saying. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.